In the welterweight division, ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event for the evening. Wolverhampton makes some noise. And yeah, to the blue corner, the record of one defeat, weighing at 175, 170 pounds, fighting the chicken, Mahiko. Representing Wolfpack MMA in Wolfpack Main event time here at Golden Ticket Fight Promotions 2. Dan Good in the blue corner, taking on Daniel Cassell in the red corner. Amazing atmosphere. I'm Jay Fairness alongside me, Aaron Bean. And this one is the one we've all been waiting for. The crowd is certainly pumped for this one. Both in the feeling out process. Yeah. Good owner of the world's smallest tie shorts. Oh, Looking to open up with the kicks. Cassell's got the, got the double leg, but he's ju good jumped on a guillotine. Cassell's on the wrist though. On, it doesn't look to be in too much trouble. He's got his hand inside. On, it's gonna be hard to finish that from there. I think he's gonna slip out. Yeah, if he can just Come pop on, his head free. Yeah, and now he's in a good position. In his own corner. Active guard there from Good. He's got to watch the triangle and the omoplata. But beautiful work from Cassell on the top. Evades two submission attempts. Full mount. Oh, good position now for Cassell. Will he open up the taps? Elbows for the first time in his career. But a good scramble there from Good gets on top. I think uh, Cassell just needs a, a bit of time just to calm down. Obviously, a big occasion, hometown, lots of fans, pro debut. Things just need to settle a little bit, allow him to get into the fight. Good, good. with a good left hand. Yeah, that was a good left hand from the top. Pace slow slightly now. Yeah, I think both guys will benefit from just slowing down the pace a little bit. Good control there from Good from the top. Nice head positioning. And Cassell tries, he might, to move off the bottom. He's just been smothered at the moment. Half guard. Okay, if he can back all the way to the fence, he gives himself a better chance of getting up to his feet. Looks for the hip out, and there he does. You've got to watch the back, though. Watch the back. That's all he's got. Come on, Dan. Luckily, just the one hook in. Cassell trying to turn in towards that. Could get his half guard from there. He's mounted, though. Come on, Dan. Come on, poor King. Good, doing a good job of controlling from the top, and he's going to get put the back. Just one hook. Cassell trying to throw him off the top. Working out for that second hook. Two hooks. Both in now. Yeah, this is not a good position for Cassell, but we know he's tough. Good amateur experience with a very good record. You know, he's been in these positions before. He's just got to ride out the bad position. He's turned in. Done well to fight there from the Gotta watch the triangle though. And Good has sat off for the triangle, but excellent posture from Cassell. Slips free of the choke. Seen a couple of up kicks and odd. Needs to be weary. And now Cassell's got the side ride position from the turtle. Can he take the back? Might be happy to punch away with that left hand from there. Good knee. He's blocking. He's looked for a guillotine. Is it there? He might be on tight, his hips in, in. A guillotine's tight. On, Sam, Good manages to slip his head out somehow. On, wow, back and forth. 
Both guys coming close, on, having a share of the top position. Exactly what we wanted from this main event. Brilliant battle so far. Castle going to look to unload now with a couple of big right hands. Yeah, now he's got the top control, he just needs to settle down, control his man, and then carefully pick his shots. Good looking for the leg, looking for a heel look possibly. He's got to turn into that. We haven't got a good angle to see this from there, they're on the opposite side to us. Good looking to crank on the heel. Cassell doesn't look into him. Ah, he's looking for a straight leg lock actually. Cassell looks quite content in that position, doesn't look to be uh, too bothered by it. And I think Good's just holding onto that leg, he's not got the hands clasped together to get any leverage on the foot or the ankle. Referee is asking for some action. And Cassell it's comes on top. On top. Come on, Dan. Look to let go with an elbow there. Yeah, good did a, a nice job there of just unbalancing him with the leg that he's got controlled. But no threat on the leg anymore. Cassell's got that knee to the mat. Look for a, a leg lock of his own. He's going to run out of time though. Entertaining first round. Very good round for both fighters. Very back and forth. As you mentioned, exactly what we need for the main event. Yeah, great matchup. Both guys showing some excellent on, skills there in the first five minutes. Good came close with a triangle, spent some good time in the top control. But Cassell never gave up, reversed him, also spent time on top. I mean, you know, we we literally have some of the best judges in the world. You know, we've got three USC judges here tonight and that's exactly why it's what you need when you've got a fight like this. I mean, good. Really has, you know, come into the lion's den. So credit, credit to him for that first round performance. You know, it's not easy coming away from home when you've got a guy who's got that much support. But then again, you could say Cassell has all the pressure. Here we go, round two. Both guys well bedded in now. Cassell with a Superman punch. Punches his way into the clinch. Good manages to turn him. And again, Cassell puts his man on the fence. Double unders. Come on, Dan, he's weak. Come on. Raising the fight. Raising the fight. Got to watch the knees from that position. Good clinch ah, there, from good. Yeah, Cassell get Cassell gets a knee of his own though. Spinning back fist. Very nice. Nice inside low kick, but well caught from Good, and he gets on top. Just left the kick in a little bit long there. Good caught it, and now he's got a hook in. Dan Cassell very well there again to turn off the back, turn into his back. Sorry. Yeah, he doesn't want to spend too much time on his back though in this round. Trying to use that butterfly hook to elevate Good. Try and set up the sweep. Good looking to uh, work around to side control. Yeah, diligently working on that pass, not giving up too much space. Cassell briefly tried a Kimura, but now it's a nice tight cross face for good. But Cassell never resting on the floor, he's always trying to work. Good's made it. Yeah, side control. He got that head tight up against the cage. Cassell almost was out there. He might be able to pendulum with his hips to find an escape. I mean, this is good tight top control from Dan Good. Dan Good, very well, very well, very well versed on top. Looking for that full mount. Ah, nice work with Cassell, just upsetting his base, but he still can't get himself free. Superior top control. Good, just not giving him any space at all. Not, not an inch. And you know he'll be happy to ride out a fight like this from this position. Looking for an armbar, possibly. Again, back into side control. Yeah, Cassell, very, very good on top. Cassell almost had a chance to get up to his knees there, but Good just reacted faster. 
took the back, uh, took the top position again. You're looking and for head and arm. You can see he's not giving anything up. He's staying nice and tight, chest to chest. Wonder if he's going to look to slip that right knee across, possibly go for full mount. Yeah, he seems very happy in the side control position. Just happy to control Cassell, chipping away with little punches, nothing major, but just you know clocking up the time on top, which is obviously what the judges are going to score. The referee is calling for some action. A couple of elbows in there from Good. There's the mount. There's the mount. And now he's on the back. Come on, come on, Cassell. Cassell did well there to get out, but there's some punches coming in. Both hooks are in again for Dan Good. Cassell, he's a, he's a slippy customer, is Dan Cassell. Yeah, that he's got the right arm over, but it's oh, the chin's inside. Good is trying to crank on the face there. He has got double hooks. Come on, Dan! Yeah, the, the choke slid under the chin. He's gone to a short choke, but Cassell gets wow, out. Wow, wow. I mean, Cassell is very tough, very durable. A lot of people would have been finished from that position. But he's got the crowd literally metres away, shouting the support. And they're going to, he's going to be frustrated. He spent a lot of time on the bottom. Trying to work his way back to top. Got he's got Oh, he's on top, he's, he's out. out. Time for Dan to uh, show what he's made of now. Yeah, he himself can sit up and throw a few shots. He's got a lot of ground to make up in this round, though. Spins, is he going to take the... Look into the back. And you got to wonder how much energy Good's expended. You know, who's the fitter, man? That can be what tells at this uh, point in the fight, the second half of the fight. Cassell really needs to work now. He's spent the whole round on the bottom. He needs to land some big strikes, get them elbows working. Come on, John! Obviously, Cassell will be tired as well from constantly defending the bad positions. Dan Good's got a knee in, slipped out now. Come on, Cassell! Come on, come on, yeah. Cassell, good position to chop away with a short left elbow. Looking full mount, just needs to slip that right out. Come on, John! Coming towards the end of the round here, though. Yeah, chops away with some, a few punches there, but I don't think that's going to be enough for Dan Cassell to win that round. Good, spent far too much time on top. He showed how tough he was, how durable he was, the fact that he could come back and uh, finish out the round there, but, you know, it's still all to fight for in round three. Cassell needs more of what he had at the end of that second round. Yeah, definitely. And the first round, either way, second round could be in the books for Dan Good. Third round, that means... Dan Cassell. Yeah. Certainly, it certainly is all to play for. Depends which way the judges went in round one, but either way, you know, he's got to win this round big. Dan Good can't afford to coast. Can't afford to coast in this round. No, not at all. I and mean, he does, it has to be said, look, the more tired man in the corner there. Did expend a lot of energy on top there, though. Worked well. It'd be interesting to see now just how much he's got left in the tank. There's been... Two tough five minute rounds. Great main event here. Going into the third and final round. Good show of respect. And we've got five minutes left to decide a winner in the main event here at Golden Ticket 2. Nice uppercut. Yeah, beautiful inside uppercut there from Cassell. He doesn't want to get put on his back now, though. Not early in the round again. Wild turn. Needs to work away now. Make a bit of space, land some big shots. Yeah, this is better from Cassell, good control. Got to watch the trip and there it goes. Beautiful trip from Dan Good. We know how good his side control is. Cassell needs to make something happen here. Yeah, he can't afford to stay underneath for a large portion of the round. There's the, there's the chance for the escape. He needs to use the fence to his advantage as well if he can. I mean, Good, it, it seems like he's very happy to just stay close, stay tight. Let the time tick down. Did a very good job of controlling Castle on the bottom. Very good job. And you can see it in Castle's face that, you know, he's doing everything he can. He's not accepting that position by any means. But he needs to get on top. And it's going to be frustrating for him. 
Looks like Good's going to look to sneak that left through again for full mount. Yeah, half guard though for Cassell if he wants it. Just going to slip that left foot through. And Good's back in control. Back on top. Stretching him out. Yeah, trying to use the fence to spring off. But, you know, the base there from Good is just too solid. Cassell not doing enough to rock the foundations to get the sweep. And you see Good, he's not really throwing any shots. But he's happy to, you know, cross body control, nice cross face. Just doing enough to keep the referee happy. Definitely winning him this round. Oh, certainly, certainly. You know, this is a great display of grappling. Great display of top control and movement. Come on, Reacting to Cassell's come escape come attempts. On. While it's not, you know, he's not coming close to finishing him with uh, any of these shots or anything like that. At the end of the day, he's controlling him and it's up to Cassell to change the position and get in a dominant position. Come Cassell on, desperately on. needs to get back to his feet. Surely now all Casal's got is the finish. Yeah, he has to give it his all now. <laughs> Dango doing a brilliant job of maintaining control on top. Yeah, I mean, this is nullifying him. He's every movement of the hips, good follows him. You know, it's, it's perfect top control grappling. He's not giving anything away. Very tight. Dan Good doing a brilliant job on top, brilliant job of maintaining full control. Yeah, you see the knee so tight in the hip, he's not letting Cassell get the guard back. Landing a couple of shots now, good on top. Cassell, and the more he gets frustrated, the more likely he is to potentially give something up as well. Because the escape attempts have to get more and more desperate, you know. Dan Good doing a brilliant job of keeping his cool, full mount again. Bit of posture now, looks for the armbar, and there it might be there, he's got the control. Can he separate the grip of Dan Cassell? Cassell done a brilliant job. a triangle. Good posture from Cassell to work out of the triangle. He doesn't, he's just put himself back in it though. Come on, Dan. Cassell really needs to work. He needs to stand himself up out of this. I don't know if Good's got the energy in his legs to finish a triangle at this point in time. Not got it tight. Dan Good, again maintaining control from this position now, maintaining control from his back. Cassell needs to posture out, he needs to break that, uh, that grip on the legs, hips in. He looks for the armbar, does Good. He might have it, there's a tap. Dan Good, Cassell tried to work his way out of the triangle, straight into the armbar and he silenced the Wolverhampton crowd. Excellent performance coming in and taking the upset here at Golden Ticket Fight Promotions 2. An excellent night in the books. Unfortunately, not the result the locals wanted, but a great night of fights nonetheless. And a big, big win for Dan Good there. And here is our winner for four minutes and 11 seconds of round three, by way of Bamba, Dan Good! And the last show for the runner-up, from the Hampton Zone, Dan Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Golden Ticket Fun Night 2. Don't forget to stick around for tonight's after party. Over till 3am. And that's all for me, ladies and gentlemen. Good night! Please, for all the fighters, put your hands together, make some noise for all the fighters, thank you.